Oh no! No! No, it spun out on me! I'm gonna block him! Oh! <laughs> Hello YouTube, Moto Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of RevHead. First off, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the RevHead series. It means a lot to me with you guys commenting and giving me advice on what you want to see in this series. Now, last episode we did work on this Magura here. This is the first one that I've actually got into working order. Uh, it's a pretty good little car. It's fairly fast. I feel like we could probably make even more improvements on it but I'm not really sure 100% what our final product for this car will be. Now another car that's been bothering me, let's go to the uh, parking lot real quick. The muscle car from the last episode, the one that we started to convert over to an off-roader and I still wasn't sold on doing that and I'm still kind of feeling the same way. So that one's probably going to set on the lot for a little bit. But what I want to do here today, let's go ahead and open up the paper and see if there's anything we can dive into. Ah, uh, looks like we got another Wreck Magura. This is all looking pretty much the same old, same old here. Uh, there's actually a newer Wanger right here. It's in a new condition, uh, about almost 7,500. That might be pretty good. Uh, let's see, we got a couple of these trucks. There's actually three of them here. Two of them are wrecked and one is heavily used. Now this wrecked one right here, I can see a little supercharger poking at the top. So, kind of makes me think that there might be something pretty powerful in there. So let's go ahead, let's pick that one up, and I'm tempted to try out one of these wanges. We've never done it before, so I think let's go ahead and pick this one up. Oh, of course our lot is full. I don't really get that about the lot. Is there an upgrade for it? Because it seems like there's a lot more parking than what it's allowing here. It's like we've got one, two, three, four more spots. So, hmm. I kind of want to select this car real quick. i tell you what we're going to do here. I like this muscle car, but I like our other one a little bit better. I'm going to take the off-road parts off, and I'm going to get rid of the car itself, because the car really holds no value to me. Uh, we can always go back and get another one. They're fairly cheap to get. Uh, so I'm going to take off the important parts real quick, and we're going to sell the body off. That way I have that extra spot on the lot. I'm going to go back to the paper and get the, uh, the newer Wanger, and we'll see what we're going to do with it from there. All right, this car is ready to be sold. Looks like we're gonna get about 1500 for it. So let's go ahead and sell it and go back to the paper. And they've already changed it on us. All right, uh, they've added a Narnu down here. It's a cheap one, uh, but it's still a little out of our price range. We can still get the uh, new condition Wanger. Uh, looks and drives like new, fully worth the money. Hopefully that isn't deceiving. Let's go ahead and take it. And let's go out to our lot and check out what we have here. All right, so first thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna go ahead and take out this uh, truck and see what's in it. Looks like there's a V8. Oh, this thing is in rough shape. I do see the supercharger though, so that's got me a bit excited. Let's go ahead and pop this up and see what's missing out of it. I'm kind of curious. Uh, there's a motor there, there is a, wow. That's a pretty decent looking supercharger. It's worn out, let's go ahead and fix it and remove it. Engine wise, wow, this thing is in bad shape. Okay, let's fix, and yeah, this is gonna be a definitely a strip and get rid of type deal. Uh, looks like we have pretty much its stock suspension is in there. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and fix and remove those. It's sway bar. I don't know how many parts for this car I actually have. I don't think I've actually, either I haven't stripped any or I haven't stripped like, but maybe one or two of these. So we're going to go ahead and take out the parts, fix and remove, and we're going to do a bit of selling uh, because I don't know how much this Wanger, by the time we're through with it, how much it might cost us. So we might as well have some money in the bank and we'll go ahead and strip this thing and see how much money we can make. Alright, this one didn't take long to strip because it's in such terrible shape. Oh, this might have been a bit of a money pit. Let's see what we can get off the motor itself. Uh, that's the only saving grace that's possibly here. So let's go over to motor and let's see what we've got here. Oh, I think I've already passed the motor. Okay. There it is. 11,000. Okay. That isn't so bad. We only paid about 5,000 for the car. So we already doubled it with the uh, motor here. So let's go ahead and just get rid of it. And we've got some parts here that I still, I, like I said, I'm a part hoarder. So I'm probably still going to hold on to these. Uh, let's go in the uh, parking lot and let's grab the Wanger here that's supposedly like new. 
Like new. I don't know if that's dirt or if that's body damage. Uh, let's figure out real quick because uh, it's got me a little nervous. Let's go ahead and paint. Uh, let's go ahead and wash this. That did basically nothing. So the paint seen better days. It looks like it's got flats actually. Either that or it's kind of in the ground. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, no, it's pretty flat. There we go. Huh, question is, is this worth the time to go in here? Because this could be a little race car. We could go uh, do a bit of street racing. What's this thing? Motor, it is a, it looks like a V6. Uh, let's go ahead and fix her up. The parts in it aren't exactly bad. A lot of this will be repairable. The sparks are bad on it. Uh, let's remove those, but let's go ahead. We're gonna fix, we can fix a lot of this. So that's in good shape. Fix that. Uh, fix that one. Let's see the thermostat. Uh, we can't fix that. It's in 77%. It's not bad. Let's go and fix the water pump. Uh, let's see if we have some sparks. I believe we do. I've got Narnu. Uh, some sort of sparks. I guess that's the ignition system or just spark plugs itself. Uh, probably have to go to the paper and pick up some of those. So let's see what type of shape the uh, suspension's in. Looks like it's all pretty decent. Not costing too much. So I don't think this is actually going to be a money pit. Maybe... He didn't lie that it says that it's like new, uh, not necessarily the body, but everything else is looking pretty good on it. Okay, so looking back at the paper, the things that I'm missing, uh, there's a little bit of the dash that's screwed up on this uh, Wanger, so I just bought a racing dash just to check it out. I didn't see anything else that's really good. Um, my concern, I don't see sparks. The only sparks I see is for the muscle car. Uh, I don't see anything else as far as spark plugs. Uh, I'll have to see. I don't think there's anything else I can get them off of, which is kind of, it kind of stinks when you run into that situation where you have one little part that you can't get a hold of that you would like to have. Uh, let's go ahead and look at our dashes here. Can we just, uh, well, that dash is worth a lot, actually. I know we've got some racing, some generic dashes for it. Uh, these all look good, except for the water gauge is bad in it. Let's install that in real quick. Now the thing that's bothering me here is the spark plugs. Uh, we've got some spark plugs off of Narnu. Can I just install those? Technically, I guess it is a generic spark plug. So actually, this thing is good to go here. Huh. That's one thing I need to hoard a little bit more. I need to get some spark plugs. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this down. Hmm, paint job wise. I'm not really sure here. Uh, let's go ahead and check everything else real quick. Fuel. Uh, that's okay. Let's go ahead and change the oil. Put race oil in there. Uh, water looks good. Actually, we can use a little bit more. Body damage. Only 30 bucks, so that's good. Yeah, mainly it is just the paint. It seems like is what is the issue. It looks a little rusty. It actually looks dirty, but I guess it's rust. So, let's paint this bad boy. Um, hmm. You know, this kind of looks like my grandma's car, so I don't really know. I mean, I'm assuming it's a little bit more powerful. I don't know what I want to do with it, though. It's kind of one of those odd cars where you're just not 100% sure. We could go completely outrageous and just make it... Oh, that looks terrible. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's get rid of that. I don't really like that. Let's go with some stripes here. Actually, what's this? Wanger. This thing looks ridiculous. All right, let's see what this outer color, what we could do there. We could go black. I do like that combination of black and green. Actually, it looks like it kept the... Uh, Kept something, or is that normally back there? Oh, I guess it's with that part of the paint scheme. Hmm. What if we were to do something like that? That actually looks kind of cool. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and paint that up. And, yep, that fixes the rims. I need to keep that in mind. A lot of times I see the rims, I'm like, oh, those look really rusty. What's wrong with them? But they're actually good to go. So, let's take this thing out. Let's go see what type of trouble we can get in. And hopefully this thing's not a complete piece of crap. Alright, so we're out here with the Wanger. It is a nice little car, but I have to say the V6 in it is extremely disappointing. Like, it just does not have any pickup. I guess we could modify it. I think you can get a V8 in this car, but it kind of stinks because we did invest money into this engine just to see if we can get it running. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be too much of a harm to get rid of the engine itself because it'll probably sell for pretty good money because it's, uh, in good shape but yeah the speed on this thing is a bit disappointing so I'm gonna continue to go around the map for a bit see if I can find any bit of trouble to get into but if not we're gonna go hop into the muscle car and try to get gold in that time trial that we missed last episode
Yeah, it's kind of fun because the car is really stable. Like, this would be a good beginner car, but it, the speed is just so lacking in this thing that I kind of want to just possibly get rid of it. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to let this one set on the lot. I do want to pull the muscle car back out uh, because I want to go do that time trial. But I have to say, I mean, the car is good. It would be nice if the game would actually give you the value of the car. So say if I wanted to, say if I wanted to get rid of this car, I'd get 8,000 for it. But I guarantee you, if I strip that engine, it'll probably be a six, seven, eight thousand dollar engine by itself. That's the one thing that's a, to me, it's a little broken about the game. I would like to see a little bit more consistency when you fix a car instead of having to go in there and completely strip it. It'd be nice if it was actually worth the value of the parts in it. So let's set that to the side real quick. Let's grab this bad boy. Uh, the one thing that I needed to do in this car, and the car was squeaking the last time we drove it, uh, was I didn't realize that I needed to replace the fan belts on it. So we're going to get rid of those or the drive belts. They're bad. And we're going to go put in another one here. Uh, oh, it's telling me about the number plate. I didn't know we were missing that. Is that a thing? Okay. But yeah, let's go search for a drive belt real quick, and then we're going to take this thing out to the track. All right, drive belt is installed. We are ready to head out with this car. And I really, really think this thing's going to pick up. Yeah, this thing's got so much more pickup than the other car. I really do think we can crush this time trial uh, real quick. And I'm kind of curious, is it going to unlock some sort of race after that? Because... Uh, races seem to appear at random on the map, so I haven't really found one except for, like, I found one drag race a couple episodes ago, but besides that, I really haven't seen much, so, yeah, okay, time trial, let's do this, I reckon I can at least do a silver time, I don't want to bet too much, so let's go ahead and bet a thousand here, and see what we can do, there we go, come on, it's got a little slow on the first gear, but once you get beyond that, this thing's got really good top end, uh, now, the question is, is this going to be drifting the whole time? Actually, let's stay in second gear here. Oh, yeah. This thing's got such good top-end speed. Now, you got to be careful about this track because the elevation changes. A lot of times, it'll want to pull you to the outside here. And last episode, I hit the wall with our new Magura. Whoa, that's really close. Okay, we're redlining a bit there. Uh, it feels like you need to go down in the second, down in the corner. Oh, that's too much drifting. Okay, so our second lap's killed. So we need to just work on going fast through uh, the turns three and four here and see if we can get to that gold time. That gold time's a 20. I'm kind of curious what car will do that. Uh, because this one's got a lot of speed and we've already beat our silver time, but I would like to eventually be able to get down to that gold time there. So here we go. Pick it up speed. Don't want to throw it too sideways here. Let's go ahead, go down a gear. Oh, there it goes again. Yeah, it's just not gripping out here. It is very fun, though. I'm at least happy we got that uh, silver time, so we're good there. Uh, we might go wander around the map and see if we can find some more, uh, maybe some street races or something, because I really am wanting to get into that. But yeah, happy with that. Uh, let's go ahead, claim our prize. We'll get a little bit of money for this. And we're going to come over the finish line. Go. All right, so that netted us $2,000, so we're good to go there. Oh, look at this. Race has been unlocked. Oh, yes, this is what I've been waiting for. Oh. All right, there's an entry fee to this race. The higher the fee, the more you're willing to pay, the more money you're going to win at the end. You know what? Hmm, I'm trying to figure out. We can't really scope out the competition. I'm waiting for the camera to switch back over. I saw a Wanger. I see some Waylas there. I think I got this. Let's go ahead and go full 2,000. I hope I'm not going to regret this. We'll see how fast the AI is. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 come on, AI, you're gonna have to move, move, oh, no, oh, no, here we go, I'm trying to keep it from sliding too much here, I think we're gonna have the straightaway speed here, there we go, oh, yeah, definitely have that, it's the cornering here, I gotta be careful, I'm just gonna actually really just kind of feather it through here, up, 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 oh, we're doing good here, Wow, look at all the uh, marks from all the tires. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Gotta catch it, gotta catch it. Counter steer. Oh, that banking, that completely spins you out. Okay, we're good, though. All right, just, just keep it going here. We're actually, we have a really big lead. I don't, I hope that's not their highest difficulty. Because it feels like they should be a little faster than that. Or maybe it's just our car is that awesome. I, I seriously doubt it, though. All right, let's go ahead and 
ease off here. Let's go ahead and grab another gear. There we go. We're actually gonna lap a car in a three lap race. That person should be absolutely embarrassed. That's ridiculous. There we go. We're gonna grab a gear here, come off the corner. All right. Oh, I probably should have shifted there. Let's go ahead and grab the gear again. All right, we lapped one car. We're almost. Actually, we might still lap him. Oh, don't you run me into the wall. Here we go. We lapped another car. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Well, that's actually going to pay off. Wow. Yeah, everybody got DNFs, and we won $5,000. All right, that's another easy way to make money. That's cool. And then looks like there's one more thing unlocked. It's the challenge. You know what? Let's go ahead and check that out real quick, too. Who's got the fastest ride? You got the guts to back it up with the little wager? You know what? It looks like we're going against an... He looks like an army dude, and... I think that was a wanger. I saw a supercharger on it. Do I want to... Bet 3,000? We've already won some money here today. You know what? I'm feeling lucky. Uh-oh. I might not be feeling that lucky anymore. Oh, what is that? Oh, oh. Okay, we're gonna beat him off the start. I think he's keeping up a little bit better than the last couple. Alright. Uh-oh, uh oh here we go. Got to give some acceleration here. Grab a gear. We're doing it. We are doing it. Okay, I'm going to let off here. This is only... Oh, this is only one lap. Oh, no! No! No, it spun out on me! I'm going to block him! Oh! <laughs> oh, boy. That's going to take a little bit to repair. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm pretty sure he's not happy about that. All right, that was some dirty tactics to win, but we won... <laughs> Oh, I won 3,000. That's cool. All right. Oh, boy. Well, we pretty much have dominated this. I want that all gold in the time trial, though. All right. Where's the damage at? You know, for as hard as he hit me, you'd figure there would be more damage. Let's see how much this is going to cost us. 50 bucks. That is it. All right. I'm in love with this car. Well, that's probably going to about wrap it up for this episode of Revhead. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I'm glad we finally got into some racing. Uh, we're going to try some probably street racing next time. Now, I do want your advice on what type of cars you want to see built and what we want to do next. I'm still debating with what's on the lot right now. I'm pretty sure we're going to get rid of the Wanja here because it's just not a fun car. I mean, yes, I guess we could put a supercharger and maybe a V8 in there, but I don't know. I'm still not quite feeling it, so we might get rid of that one. Uh, we need to also go find some off-roading races or trails, and we'll take the 4x4 Narnu out there. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on this series. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time in Revhead. Thank you.